Hey guys, welcome back to the north. Pretty nice day here today. I think it's May 31st. Just coming back to my cabin there. Standing by the falls here. I'd like to show you guys something there that my father showed me about 20 years ago when I was just a young lad. We were out moose hunting and whatnot. Uh, came across some tracks, some sediment. Very possible they could be dinosaur tracks. Uh, I'll show you guys here in a bit shortly. In the Hay River paper, that's my Hay River newspaper, uh, a guy found possible dinosaur tracks around this area here. So I figured I'd make a video and uh, show you some tracks that are similar to the ones that he found that could possible, possibly be dinosaur tracks. And uh, I don't know, man, let me know what you think. Uh, quite a ways from here, up river. So we'll, uh, we'll go and check them out. And uh, you guys tell me if you think they're dinosaur tracks or what the mystery tracks are. We'll just call them mystery tracks. Okay, guys, let's get the party started. Put these post its in these uh, craters. Maybe they're dinosaur tracks. They keep going, you see. It's a reoccurring pattern. It goes along. They keep going up to the edge of the river there. Are they dinosaur tracks? I don't know. I think they might be. I'll show you guys another set up ahead here. So this set here, this is the one that uh, caught my attention the most. Are they dinosaur tracks? Not too sure, but they're all reoccurring and it sure looks like an animal stepped in them. Here we'll start from the end here. You can see the indents in the sediment. Looks like it came off from the river's edge. You see where it's broke off. It carries on this way. You see there's two there, another two, another two there. And it keeps going. Now there's two, and two, and two, and two. All four, same size, all spaced out, embedded in the sediment. You know, to me that would be just like a marten hopping along, if you're looking at track-wise anyways. So, I'm not sure if these are dinosaur tracks, but, you know, they could very well be. And then they kind of end there and go off wherever. When I came across these tracks, I was moose hunting and the rocks were pretty clean then because it was fall time and it rained all summer as you can see it's there's a lot of mud here so it took me a while to sweep out my tracks or to find them tracks again and sweep them because I've seen those about 20 years ago. My father showed them to me when we were moose hunting and uh, thought I'd show you guys and you guys let me know what you think. So. That's it, man. I think they're dinosaur tracks. I really don't know, though. You know, millions of years ago, this was all underwater. And then uh, the glaciers, you know, they made the Cameron Hills and rubbed everything. That's why you don't find much bones around, I guess. But there's a rumor that uh, there's some dinosaur tracks found 20 miles from here or so. I read that in the paper, so I thought I would... Uh, show you what I found and which I thought might be dinosaur tracks. Hey Charlie. Now this piece of this piece of rock here it's kind of hanging off in the river here a bit. I don't want to fucking fall in the river here. I'm just standing on this ledge. You see they start the one starts there and carries on keeps going up this way to there. I'll show you here and they carry on to this chunk of rock. You kind of see how these rocks broke apart. They're kind of together. They carry on to this side here and they start back up right up here. I'm not sure if that's one there. They're kind of pretty corroded, huh? You know they... Charlie! Get the fuck out of the water! Quit making noise! You see, then they 
carry on. We'll just hang on this rock and we'll fall on that ledge. Now oh, one of my post-its blew away. And they carry on. One there. And uh, that's where I lose these ones from. Anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. So you guys, uh, let me know what you think. You know, I'm not a, not a scientist or anything. I'm just a hunter, trapper, gatherer, whatever you want to call it. So if you know anything about uh, dinosaur tracks or did any study on it or whatever, or if it's something you enjoy doing and know anything about this sort of shit, let me know. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment, you know, and uh, talk to you guys later. Now you see millions of years ago this was all underwater, huh? All ocean. You see this chunk of rock here? It is right full of coral. There's a lot of coral on this big chunk. I don't know why you wouldn't find a fish or something in it, but I always look. There's a nice chunk there. This, uh, yeah, she was all underwater at one time, huh? It's pretty cool, huh? There's fossils all over the river, all over the place there's fossils. I go find fossils all around here, you know? I'll go show you guys another set of uh, tracks up ahead. When it rains, I'll, uh, it clears all the mud off of here, I'll come back because there's a lot more tracks like that around. But I'm not going to go brushing around looking for them, you know, they're, they're around on this, on this bedrock here somewhere, huh? Somewhere under all this mud. Get a good rain and I'll come back and I'll show you guys even more of the mystery tracks. I'll use these uh, old dried up moose tracks here in the mud. Uh, it's kind of an example as I'm looking at these tracks that might be dinosaur. You see here, now well here's, this is the moose's stride. There, there, there. The other one is there, and there. Then another one there. So you can see the pattern in these moose tracks, old moose tracks in the mud. And again, none of these tracks are identical, huh? These are old, old tracks, you know, they're pretty damn old, but each what some are bigger than the others, some are smaller. So it'd be the same for them dinosaur tracks in the stone, you know, and they're not all gonna be exactly the same size. You gotta remember they're fucking fossilized, huh? So anyways, I just thought I'd put that in that kind of a good example. Or uh, when you're when I'm looking at these tracks. Well those were pretty interesting dinosaur tracks, huh? This is Alexander Falls. I figured while I was in the area, I'd show you guys uh we'll just have a go and have a look over it. You know this isn't a, an area you'd want to be in a canoe. You know, a few people back in the olden days, the old native explorers went over the falls. The guy doing extreme sport in a kayak, he went over these falls too. He got big fine, a lot of shit for that. These falls though, this is the reason why I cannot boat from my cabin to my hometown of Hay River. This is Hay River and it leads to the Great Slave Lake, right to the edge, right to the edge of uh, Hay River, the town. You go up river, that'll take you to my cabin it's about 50, 50 some miles maybe up. Let's just go have a peek over these. These are pretty big falls. They're uh, not too sure how high they are. There's about four sets of falls all together. Louise Falls, Alexander Falls, Escarpment Falls, and uh, I forget the name of the other one. Yeah, have a look at this. He got something, huh? Big drop. Oh yeah, I gotta watch my footing here. He got something, huh? A long ways down. Beautiful, huh? Anyways, 
I uh, just thought I'd show you guys the falls. So uh, leave a comment, love the feedback, and uh, get another video shortly. Peace to everyone. Yeah, the guy in Extreme Sports, he went right over Alexander Falls. And he actually lived. Ain't that something, huh?